This is Eagle Al, and let's get straight into it. So today, I did my first mock draft ever, and this is going to be my last one to the draft. We know the draft is coming up a couple weeks, and I was just interested. I'm like, you know, I'm going to get on PFF and do my first mock draft. So here you go, or you see it, all the players I drafted. So first round, I immediately traded back because Jalen Carter was gone. I traded back, got... uh. The 17th overall pick from the Steelers got the 32nd, and I got the 120th fourth round pick. So this is who I got with my first pick, 17th overall, Kalijah Kansi. Kalijah Kansi is just a dog. He's a dog, man. What can I say? The One of the best pass rushers um, as far as the tackle and the draft, of course, besides Jalen Carter. And look, Kalijah Kansi is a dog. You, I trade back because I knew possibly the teams that were there were not going to get him. I used basically Steelers one, Tyree Wilson heavily. I know people was going to get uh, Christian Gonzalez. So I just had a feeling he was going to be there. Um, so Eagles got two first round picks. So we got the 17th and we got the 30th. So I traded my 30th to trade up a bit. And I wanted my guy. I, I simply wanted my guy. And my guy actually wasn't Zay Flowers. I wanted the safety, um, Brian Branch, but he got taken. So I had to, okay, who can I get? Who is the best player available and who could help us now? And that's Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers out of uh, Boston College. I know he can drop the ball a couple times, but he's really, really good in the slot. He can really push Quez Watkins, if not just take Quez Watkins' spot, and Quez Watkins be a number four. And Quez Watkins, to me, it would be a solid number four. Man, when you watch Z Flowers, he's just a playmaker. He's a playmaker. I couldn't pass up on him. Had to go get him, especially especially with me having a 30, 32nd overall. I can get another good guy with the 32nd that I got from um, Pittsburgh. So I like this pick. It immediately, immediately just ju uh, juvenate our offense to a whole nother level. Immediately. I'm telling you, Zay Flowers to me is that good. So here we go. I go 30 seconds of who I got from Pittsburgh. Also, I didn't discuss the pace I got from um, Minnesota. As you see here, I got the 87 and 119 from Minnesota. But the 30 second overall, I go Felix Uzama. I, I like him a lot. Um, I'm going to call him Double A. He was taken by the Chiefs, I believe, in the first round, the last pick by the Chiefs. So I picked the next best guy on the edge. And he reminds me of Nolan Smith. A little bit undersized, can really pass rush. That first step is utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. So I come pass up on my guy, um, Felix Uzama. He, he's really, really good. Um, run run defense could do some work, of course, but when you rotate at him, Josh Sweat, Hassan Reddit, man, he, he make it pass rush more and more and more dangerous. Just make it dangerous. So your first three picks off the rip is immediate impact. You don't have to sit back, see what they can do. Now, these are impact guys. Your first three. Uh, uh, Kaliza Kansi, Zay Flowers. And uh, Felix Uzama. So, my next pick right here. Um, I wanted my guy Sidney Brown out of um, Illinois, but he was picked earlier than expected. So, PFF actually looked at this as a steal for me for getting Jordan Battle. Jordan Battle, Alabama guy. 6'2", 205, 210, safety. So I addressed the safety need. Um, physical, he, he's he's good at playing the box. He's not really that good with man-to-man. -man. Uh, he take bad angles with tackles sometimes. I, I don't get it. I simply don't get it. But this is a guy you bring to Sean Desai, and I think he could develop him to be a guy we really want him to be because he got all the physical attributes and it's fast, physical, all that type of good stuff. Bring him to Sean Desai. We seen what Sean Desai did with um, Ryan Neal. 
playing had him playing at a high level. We already know um, Diggs over there. So Sean Desai is really good with these defensive backs. I think he will have Jordan Battle ready to go. I like that pick. I, I like the pick a lot, especially without me being able to get my guy, Sidney Brown. But my next pick, I go. I, I couldn't skip on Chandler uh, Zavala. I, I just couldn't simply do it. He's a guard that you need with the as uh, Isaac Selamalu. Didn't allow a sack in about two years. Uh, only allowed about seven pressures with or eight pressures within two years. Zavala is really good. I do question his run blocking just a tad bit, but you put him with a uh, uh, offensive uh, offensive line coach. I'm telling you, he he'll get the run the run blocking down right. I'm telling you, man, send him to Statlin University. He will get it right. He physical. He he runs what his forty yard dash was like. Five, like five on the mark or 5.01. So he's pretty quick for a guard, can get to the outside far on screens and stuff. Very athletic. Like I said, just for him being a tad bit undersized, his run blocking can be a bit shaky. But like I said, St- similar to Stalin University, he will get it right. Trust me, he will get it right. Uh, this pick I got from Minnesota, 119, and I was surprised this guy was still here. That's why PFF loved this pick so much. Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker from uh, Syracuse, the running back. Stud, 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 running back for sure. I thought he'd get picked earlier. He was right there in my face. I got to take him. Got to take him, man. Um, I, trust me, I want... I wanted uh, Jamar Gibbs, but 32 would have been too high to get him. And then my next pick was too far. So Sean Tucker, I think he could battle it out with Boston Scott. Then you got a really good, I, I say trio, or if we end up adding a fourth running back on the roster, I think it would be really good. Because then you'll have Kenny Gainwell, um, Rashad Penny, whoever you want to put first, let them battle it out for the first. Then you'll have Boston Scott. And Sean Tucker battling out, and then you still got Trey Sermon as your big body. So don't forget about Trey Sermon. Trey Sermon might like, knock both of those dudes off, and they got to battle it out. Battle it out, and also who's better at special teams? I think Sean Tucker be the better special teams guy because when you give it to Sean Tucker in open space, he's very, very dangerous. You're not catching him from behind. Simple, simple as that. His knock on him, far as what I've read on him, is that he's not a three down back. We don't need him to be a three down back. So it, it just work out for us in general. You could split him out side, get the ball in his hands. He's really good, but he will drop a few. But like I said, he's really, really good. And he could really challenge Boston Scott because we haven't brought in a running back that could really challenge Boston Scott for that spot. So that's that's a really good pick. Uh, these last three is really experimental picks. Uh I went with Marge Maro Ojomo, I believe that's how I say his name from Texas. Really, really good against the run. His uh pass pass rushing can do a little work. Um really developmental piece. If we could get the pass rushing right, I mean he'll be a steal for sure. But if he don't, especially we in the passing lead, he gonna really have to battle it out. Like we, we got competition on that defensive line but his run defense i can't lie for texas is really 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 good but the pass defense can do some work um like i said last couple picks experimental so i went here with uh michael jones out of syracuse undersized linebacker um know how to get to the quarterback i think he had about like four sacks but like i said under undersized so it's hard for him to get in between the tackles very very developmental piece keep him like on a practice squad or something like that let him really develop and see what he really got and and my my probably my favorite favorite pick jake witt who is the last pick who is the last pick because you don't let a guy like him go undrafted too athletic too good but you can really really develop this guy to be the guy to take over for Lane Johnson. I mean, this guy played wide receiver. This guy played tight end. They got his weight up to pay, 
play tackle. The story of him playing tackle was very interesting because basically the whole old line of his team got hurt and they were like, well, we need somebody to play that tackle. He like, I'll do it. He bulked up a bit, start playing tackle, and he was really, really, really good. But he's not that experienced at playing tackle, like I said. Play wide receiver, tight end. Now he's playing tackle. He also played basketball, so that lets you know his athleticism. But playing tackle at basically 300 pounds is really small. Let him get his weight up. Learn under Stoutland University. I think this guy can be the next Jordan Malata based on the athleticism alone. So this is my mock draft, man. You know, I, I usually don't do these, but I, I just was bored. I'm like, I'm going to decide to do it. And PFF, as you see, they, they I guess they liked it, too. They gave me a uh, uh, I, I really like this draft right here. Of course, I couldn't get all the guys I talked about. But the one the one I say, if <laughs> if I was Howie Roseman actually doing the draft, the one everybody probably hate the most is Zay Flowers. Why would you get another receiver? He's really a slot receiver. And like I said, man, you only as good as your third wide receiver. If Zay Flowers is your third wide receiver, I think you're in a very good spot. You jump ahead against the Giants again because the Giants need a receiver. They don't get him. So, um, yeah, man, I, I like Zay Flowers, man. I, I like Zay Flowers. That's the one that pissed everybody off. But I'm pretty sure everything else, a lot of people would agree with me with. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel, man, about this mock draft? It's probably one of the longest videos I ever did in a long time. But I hope you guys like this mock draft. I put a lot of work into it. And then I did others, mixing it up here, here and there. But this is the one I think was my best one so i addressed every single need sean tucker could be special teams slot receiver um the range of lane johnson i got the guard down right so yeah man the only thing you gotta do probably <laughs> sign somebody is another linebacker but other than that man i think i addressed every need possible but this is eagle al man I'm out.